Hello everyone, welcome to Patsan TV. In today's speedrun video, I'm gonna show you how I built a triangle house for the wheel challenge. So if you're ready, let's game, shall we? <laughs> If you didn't know, this is what wheel spin build challenge is. I'm gonna put the link down below in the description so that you can check the rules by yourself. But I'm gonna go over it very quickly. So this channel is designed to break you out of your build comfort zone and get you to try new and potentially disastrous things. <laughs> I created this ch uh, challenge for my YouTube channel. Go check it out. Let's go and check it out. So it's from LizMZ. Yeah. If you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of LizMZ. So go and check her channel out after checking my videos of course hopefully <laughs> so she wrote this document on google docs so that you can go and check everyone can go and check basically there are some categories and spin the wheel spin is just a metaphor for hitting the random numbers so there are categories and subcategories within them and you use the google random number generator and just choose one of the numbers within here in this area the categories are like lot size word budget house size build style color pack limitations expansion packs game packs stuff packs and funky room to include so during my live i asked the people in the chat to decide these numbers like they just randomly told me some numbers and the first number that i saw i just put that number to the list and then um during the live you're seeing on top of me there is this blue sheet written and i wrote there the conditions in turkish so the conditions were decided as like 50 50 by 50 or 50 by 40 lot and it had to be at the creek willow creek but for some reason i got confused and i made it into new crest <laughs> and no one uh, warned me about it during the whole two hours that i was building it and i did it in during my live sessions by the way i decided to make some english content videos for my for similar friends to watch what i'm doing during the live sessions as well so in this one um i'm gonna go through what i have recorded so far so probably from now on you will see this kind of videos more and i hope you will enjoy as well like it will be a bit post uh, it will be a late for you to check out what i've been doing during the live sessions but the idea of keeping you get updated made me happy because i know that some of you want to check out how i build things and support my videos and i'm truly uh, glad that you're trying to do that and this is my payback to you that's how i feel and i hope you enjoy this series as well and let me continue the conditions yeah i got carried away with the explanation so instead of willow creek i used new christ as i told before and for budget the budget was decided as 50k that was really the key 50k was more or less enough for me for a house because i've been usually um building tiny houses so tiny houses don't cost that much and i was like quite i would be quite lucky if i could make a tiny house but it turned out i couldn't <laughs> so uh the house size would be according to the three sims and my chat wanted me to make it for a single mother with two children and one toddler and one child so i did the house accordingly and I created the sims as well, mother, child, and the toddler. And the building type would be a modern build with a neutral colors. And then as a spooky room <laughs> to include, like the first one, I was like super lucky on that, that on that too. Uh, turned out to be a study room <laughs> how hard it would be so thinking that um, besides putting selecting a place in the willow creek i thought more of uh, how to make this challenge more interesting and i've been watching the videos about triangle houses for a while already and lizimzi has a video as well when i watched her doing a triangle house 
in the beginning it felt so stupid like how a triangle house would look actually good and then she made it really well <laughs> and i was really surprised oh i was like oh you can do triangle houses really well as well mm. and i was really wondering how i would do if i had to make a triangle house and i wanted to give my best and this is what happened in the end i hope you're gonna enjoy what you're gonna see i'm not gonna give you the full extent if you go go and want to check out how I'm doing each details you can go and check my live sessions I'm gonna put the information card on top of the video and then uh, you can go and check individually each part so this is like a brief giving a briefing about what I've been doing in the recent two weeks actually that's all <laughs> so this is where the house is right now since I moved it it changed a bit <laughs> Uh, I'm aware of the problem that the uh, landscaping doesn't fit the environment too much. So you see the very wide leaves of the trees and wildest I have only pine trees around. <laughs> but it started with the idea of I'm putting it to the near crest. It's not an idea, it's stupidity. Um, we just forgot about that and we put it in the near crest without thinking much. Um, after like making the shape of the house and thinking that um, I created this platform on top of it as well let me show you a bit before the story so this is how the platform looks like on top of the place and I put another platform and I like this uh, white wood swatch on this platform and I struggled a lot what to put here and at the end I decided this house to become an echo house so that I put these solar panels and then before getting into floor plan and the interior design i'd like to talk about the, these sections these whole landscaping so in this the idea was like i created this house and i was okay with the shape and i put it here this side as well and i had a huge lot to fill it and i thought that either i'm gonna make a huge pool in here or something else with lots of trees and stuff and I thought that why not to increase the ground level then? <laughs> so I uh, thought of a like a weaving spot in here. Actually, you can come here and grab a tea with your like loved ones and watch the view. And it was the sea view from the new crests that town, you know, that area. And then um, in here, it's like a lake. It's still good, like bunch of trees, lake. I still like it actually but it wasn't what I had in mind before <laughs> and then of course I used lots of lots of debug items actually like I completed it in two weeks as I told before and the second week was mostly done as me going through the debug items like I was trying to find proper items to complete this section as much as possible and I recently learned that the debug rocks cost four simoleons can you believe that? <laughs> I didn't know. I always had this idea in my mind. Oh, it's free. Anyways, I'm gonna just start debugging and everything will be okay. Turned out, nope. You cannot get everything free by debug. Not the stones at least. So I put these trees and before I moved out, there wasn't these trees before. And I didn't, I hadn't done this part during the live session as well. After the live, I tell people that, okay, the rest is going to be me going through the debug so you don't have to suffer this <laughs> anymore so I just quit that uh, ended that stream and started to build this on my own side so there is another small lake over there like a pond here I search for these items mostly and they're floating here and there of course you can fix them if you'd like to download it by the way uh, my galleries I gallery ID is on the description so you can check Check this house and download if you want. Probably I used billions of packs for this build. Let me check quickly. Ah uh, yeah, I used only billions of <laughs> If you have all this stuff, you can download and enjoy in the full extent. Don't forget to write the cheat bb.moveobjects on to get the full complete build. And I wanted to make this mom cool a little that's why i gave her this sports car <laughs> in this weird parking lot 
and then uh, you go around this pathway and if you don't want to go through the woods area you can always pass through this area and you can choose to enjoy the view a little on top so you can climb just up there and then you can also fish here actually I also put a fishing spot here so you can enjoy these two uh, try not to see the corners of the pool as much as possible <laughs> please so um, I tried my best to put the rocks around it but I was out of money at the end so I couldn't complete uh, putting rocks everywhere so after you enter here uh, let's go back to this floor this is the entrance of course I put a bunch of more debug items and then you come to the triangular entrance and there's this corridor area that I created and these are the walls I used so the corridor has like two sections one section is very colorful very modernistic and the other section is kind of dull <laughs> and boring and in this section I thought that maybe these are just bricks instead of wall for us to go upstairs and it has a unique door as well so when I was doing this different wallpapers I was keep asking chats like are you okay with this can I really do this are you sure about this <laughs> and they all agree with me they said that okay it's fine you can put it then I put it uh, besides than that I wouldn't I wasn't able to do it I'm not sure if you would like it or much I'm not sure if it is aesthetic or not but this is how it turned out so you can actually go to the living space and kitchen through the toilet <laughs> and then there is this like a living area small living area with a kitchen with lots of unnecessary stuff of course when i was going through the bar when whatever i found i put it here and then there is this kitchen area and there's back door i had no idea what to do with this back door after some time that's why i just created a pathway here <laughs> and that's it and then there is this uh, child's room, like a girl's room, but I wanted it to be blue or turquoise. And then I gave these colors. And then the parent room would be like this, kind of simple. But I wanted to give some colorful things here and there as well, just to spice it up a little. And there is this bathroom for parents. And then there is the study area. I'd like to put, I really like to put a reading area here. And there is only one desk with not so many items everywhere. I like to put this when there are kids in the house. So that I'm imagining that the toys can be put in these boxes as well. That's how the vibe of this item for me. And this is the child's room that I'm kind of embarrassed about it. <laughs> when I was doing it during the live, I was keep saying that I really don't know how to make child's room. We understood this from that. And then you enter from here and you go up. And you come to this patio area with some wind turbine going around. And you have some candlelight. Let's look at the nighttime. And you can just chit chat with your friends and enjoy the view here you can also check your panels and your plants and the birdies coming to your patio and up there you can just enjoy the view of this more trees even more trees yes I think that's more or less all about this build I hope you like it if you enjoyed this video please uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button to support me and if you really enjoyed the video of course and then if you like to see more of these contents I encourage you to consider subscribing my channel and hitting the bell icon so that you can know the true notifications immediately I really thank all of my simmer friends to inspire me in lots of different builds and I'm really enjoying do doing these live streams and the videos. I hope you continue showing me your support because that's kind of my motivation feed. <laughs> so I'm gonna see you guys next week. Bye.